So what recommendations do you have for clients who are shopping for agencies? First things first, don't compare on price alone. You can get a great deal on someone who will rarely respond or who won't be there in an emergency or who won't get you the top line uh, results that you're really looking for. You might get a pretty website, but it doesn't do anything. (laughs) You know, that's no good. Um, You can also get an agency that doesn't have the technical chops, so you end up with a beautiful disaster that's not maintainable and not future-oriented, future-proof, and you accumulate technical debt, which costs more. It's this hidden cost that you don't see until you actually have to make it grow and move and and, um, maintain. So that's a big thing. Don't compare on price alone. And also just on your expectation think about your expectations on how you would like to work with anyone like a, you know like a coworker. think of an agency as someone that you're working with you know what do you expect as far as communication timelines responsiveness all of these things proactivity is another big one we hear you know clients are busy and they just want someone to think for them you know uh and, and not all agencies are equipped to do that actually a lot are not for me, the biggest thing is is price here. We have inherited uh, a lot of projects from other agencies uh, or web design shops that were the lowest bid. You know, whether that's uh, again a website redesign or a CRM implementation, especially the CRM implementation, those can get really messy really fast with a lowest bid uh, based approach. You're really going to get what you pay for with things like that. And if cost is a really important factor, which for a lot of folks it is, that's where it's really then important to engage in a conversation with the folks you're considering to really kind of suss out what's most important within the scope and begin to adjust the scope or break up uh, the project into smaller pieces that can be done in phases to help distribute any initial costs that would be involved in that. We really hate to see it when clients come to us with a CRM that costs them way too much money and it's just not working for them. Uh, Or a website that, again, it may look really pretty, but it's not actually driving the conversions that they need it to. Um, and, And that's oftentimes what you get when you shop primarily on price. So having that conversation is is just so important throughout that process. 